Hi everyone, it's finally here. I ordered Joanna Basford's Worlds of Wonder, a coloring book for the curious, November the 23rd. It came today, which is um, March the 30th. Anyway, I don't do a lot of coloring videos anymore. I used to, but I do a lot of coloring because it's relaxing. It's a stress reliever. And because I think I own every one Joanna has ever made. I love her books. I love her work. Um, I've gotten a lot of my art ideas from her. A lot of my um, stickers that I make for journals, I get the ideas from her. But look at this. Isn't that just adorable? I mean... I love it. I love everything about her books. Let me see if I can get this a little more centered. Hopefully that's a little better. A little more light on the subject. It's just awesome. Here's your welcome page. This is a floral heart. I know I need to raise my camera higher, but... I still haven't moved into the new craft room. Hopefully it won't be long. I love the little house here that's attached to the hot air balloon. I can see that becoming a sticker for a creative writing journal. Oh, look at the elephant on the balloon. I, and this is the first time going through it, so... I just love her idea she comes up with. That's so cool. I've been practicing doing this. The houses like this. Haven't got it mastered yet, but I do like them. Oh, peacocks. This will probably be the first page I do. It's a peacocks. Cool. And, um, with most of her books, I get a lot of my uh, ephemera out of them after I've colored them. Because, I mean, this one page can make a lot of tags. This is cute. I like that. Different. She doesn't usually have this much blank space on the pages. Oh, wow. How gorgeous. She's incorporated a lot of different things into this one. Usually it's all just one theme, and I like the fact that it's mixed. I love these. I absolutely love them. I think this is going to be my favorite book of hers so far. Oh, is that a steampunk fish? A steampunk shark? How cool is that? <coughs> I can see that on the journal covers. I see every one of these would be copied onto a sticker page and just make different little stickers for your journals I really am enjoying this book so far I love those little cat sitting in the window is cute is it cute I'm just kind of thrown off by the blank spaces. She doesn't usually have as much blank space. Oh, these are like great stickers. So with this page. Here you have your fruits and veggies. For a garden theme journal, you got seed packets, a shovel, a watering can, all kinds of nice stuff on here. For you bug lovers. I love that. Wouldn't that be beautiful for a um, secret garden journal? Here they are, TP. <laughs> Huge. This would be beautiful on the cover of a butterfly journal.
Oh, this is awesome. Here it starts, and then it goes over to the next page, and it's the trail from a little airplane. That's cute. She's really stepping out of her comfort zone. Oh, my goodness. I love this. I love this. I love this. I love this. I will probably copy this page a million times to use in my bird journals. And I absolutely positively love this. When they make great tags, y'all will see these in some of my journals. And what I do is I copy them first and then color them to go in with the theme that I'm using. So I get to color the same pages a million times. Cool. I like these two pages. <gasps> and now. Oh, I love the house so much. I just love this page. It's just speaking to me. Love this one. I would like to try to paint this one. little mushroom. That's so cute. Look at all these that you turn into stickers. And like I said, if you do decide to buy one and you want to make stickers for your own personal use, you can't make them and sell them. Copy them. Leave it blank. Copy them and color them on your sticker sheet. Or copy them onto a cardstock and color them then copy them under a sticker sheet. Because once you color them in the book and copy them, you have the same colors for everything. You can't switch up the colors. Very thick paper in all of her books. But you could probably even watercolor in them. I've never tried it. I may try it on one page, but... Whoa! Now, see, this is what her books normally look like. It's usually every space is filled in. And this looks like a conglomeration of all of her pages together. Because here's the TP, The houses. Oh, I love it. Let's see, with the COVID outbreak, something like this, when I'm having to sit in the car and wait for... My husband, when he's on a doctor's appointment, I always have something that's busy like this that's going to take me a long time. That is stunning. I love this one. Look at all these different little ones you can make journal cards with or put on greeting cards or whatever. Again, I would suggest you copy it before you color it. I'm not big on bugs, but... I usually have never colored a bug yet in one of her coloring books. I like this. It's a pretty cat. Oh, look at that. Mushroom village in the bottle. And it's being pulled by the fish. <laughs> That's cool. I really like that. Here's more that can be turned into stickers or in your art journals or whatever. This is so cute. You get a lot for your money in her books. And it's, like I said, you can use them over and over and over again if you don't color it, but you copy it and then color it to use in your journal and so forth. And then you get colored all different times and all different colors too. Oh, look at the houses. Aren't they awesome? I love them. And then a house on balloons. I'm assuming the movie Up inspired this. A camel. Oh my goodness. Well, I love this page. Needless to say, but I absolutely am in love with these tickets, and that gives me so many ideas. Love them. Two pages of the mushrooms that are houses.
I love it. Another tent, and this is under night sky. And we can see underneath it's like somebody has a homes underneath it as well. Burrowed under the ground. Oh wow, I love this one. Now looking at it, I'm kind of happier with the blank spaces because you can create your own backgrounds, but you're also getting more of a dedicated art page and not a lot of different things on one page. Cool. That is super cool. I love it. Very different for her work. Very different indeed. And these again kind of steampunkish looking. Very different for her work. But I like the fact that it's different. I like it a lot that it's different because like I said I have bought every book she's ever put out and some of it's a bit redundant with the same thing in each book. This one is totally different. And I absolutely love it. So, um, yes, I highly suggest you order it. Amazon has it now because that's who I ordered mine from. If you're in the UK, of course, you guys already have yours. But um, here in the US, it has just now been released for shipment. So, yeah, I strongly suggest you get it because there's a million and one uses for it. Okay, thanks for watching. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.